Matt here with Mr. Energy. Hey, today we are installing a heat shield wall. This is a non-combustible heat shield on a combustible wall. I have some spacers that I had fabricated earlier. I'm just attaching those to the wall to give us the space we require. The minimum is one inch of airspace, and I'm going about four inches. That little concrete footing is four inches off the drywall. So I'm going a little bit more to allow that air to come up underneath and circulate around the heat shield. So for the surface of the heat shield, I'm using sheet metal and you can use anything non-combustible, cement board, brick, tile, anything that won't burn. So here's the rule for creating a non-combustible heat shield wall. You must be at least one inch away from the combustible wall with your non-combustible material and you need at least a one inch opening on the bottom and a one inch opening on the top for the air to flow. So hot air rises, if there is warm air, it will draw cool air off the floor, bringing cool air between your combustible wall and the heat shield. So what this does, it allows your clearances to be reduced by half. In the case of this old cook stove, because there is no clearance, the default clearance is 36 inches, and we are cutting that clearance in half to 18 inches required. I've got about 19 inches, so I'm more than safe, and I really don't want this old cook stove burning my house down. So better safe than sorry. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard, be creative, and always do your best. See you next time.